This is the house that we are doing flat tile roof application. Uh, we're using the LOR94 on this project. Here he's cutting a, a 90 pound felt just to have an added protection for on top of the LOR94 uh, instead of mass teching the nails or um, covering up uh, the uh, the holes from the uh, tile. He's just going to use the uh, 90 pound felt and uh, that'll give it a self sealing because this, this felt right here is a self sealing so it seals around the nail holes once he punctures through uh, the um, LOR94. He installs, he's installed the last piece here. 10 penny nail. Finds the hole in the tile. As he puts the nail in, he finds the uh, hole on the tile and that secures the last course of the tile as well with the nail. And it also secures the LOR94 to the tile. So now the last course of tile is secure as well as the LOR94 secure. This is flat standard weight tile, eagle tile, and you can see here's the LOR94. Here it is up close. Here is the LOR94. How it looks installed on the top of the ridge. They've installed it already. And each nail here, and it's every other on the other side, instead of going on the ridge, because they install a nail or a screw on the ridge cap of the material, which is that right there, the three sided ridge, because it's got a nail hole onto the ridge board, which is in the middle after this is installed. But for added protection, they place a 90 pound felt, which you'll see over here. Then for added safety and protection because of the fact that the uh, nail holes aren't lined up, don't line up cor you know, completely correct with the uh, LOR94 and the tile, they throw the 90 pound felt that's a self sealing, as you can see, which fits inside, which still leaves the baffles exposed. And he brings his first piece of ridge cap. Starts laying them down as you can see. As you can see the baffles are exposed.
here he's putting a little bit of uh, Henry's mass tech so that when he puts each one on top of each other they seal together correctly and stick together this is an added protection it's not needed but you know as one of their uh, added values of their service they do this to each home that they uh, prepare and, and when they roof and they're using four inch screws for the ridge cap so that they can screw the tile to the roof at the uh, ridge board Use the screw. Mine's the first one right here. Put the four inch screw carefully drills in, grabs onto the ridge board. The next one goes on. It grabs onto the ridge board. Next one above it. The four to five inch screws work perfectly and they grip down to the ridge board which is set down about four inches. This is the complete ridge, the complete product. As you can see, very clean, aesthetically pleasing and effective. It's the whole ridge right here. No dormer vents, just the uh, beautiful looking LOR 9-4 with some beautiful looking tile at the ridge doing the venting. Virtually impossible to see unless you have a trained eye, which is even with that, it's difficult to notice. You don't see it at all from the from the from the street view. Done, he says. And this gives you the uh, complete ridge on uh, the second two story home in Placentia, California, done by Ernie Armstrong. It looks phenomenal. You cannot see the baffles, you cannot see the LOR 94 under there. No vents other than the ridge vent with the uh, circle vents at the uh, under eave uh, bird block area. And that's what you want on a tile roof, the aesthetics of not having a big dormer. You're paying a top dollar for, uh, you know, a roof that, you know, aesthetically is, you want, ple you know, eye-catching and pleasing to the eye. 